Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Manta and today y'all we are making a peach cobbler pound cake. Mm -hmm. Look at that on your screens. This pound cake right here on its own, it's super delicious and it is topped with all the goodness from a peach cobbler but a very simple version because you know how we do it over here. We keep it really, really simple. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into today's video. <music> So to make a peach cobbler pound cake, I'm going to be using my stand mixer today. And we're going to start with our dry ingredients. Here I have three cups of all-purpose flour sifted. And to that, I am going to be adding some salt. Okay. And then I would also be going in with some baking powder. I am using one teaspoon of baking powder and about half a teaspoon of salt. Those are our dry ingredients. You can go ahead and mix everything together and we're going to put that on the side and moving on. We're going to start off by creaming our fat. Here I have three sticks of unsalted butter. The better quality of the butter, the better the cake that you're going to get. And here I have one eight ounce block of cream cheese and all my fats are at room temperature. I cannot overemphasize that. So I'm going to go ahead and cream my butter and cream cheese together until it is nice and well incorporated. Do not forget to stop and um, scrape down the sides of your bowl and your mixer. And now it is time to add my sugar. Now, typically you would add three cups of sugar, but if you've been on this channel, you know I like to cut it down to two and a half cups and also all of the other add-ons that are going to come onto this cake. So I am only using two and a half cups of regular granulated white sugar. Of course, we are stopping and scraping down the sides of our bowl. And now it is time to add our eggs once all of our fats and sugars have been well incorporated. Now, that took about five minutes and it was really nice and airy. So now, as you can see, I am adding one egg at a time. I have five eggs in total. I am letting it beat for about 15 seconds interval before adding the next egg. And I'm going to repeat it. And this is the last egg. It's going in there. And for flavors, I'm going to be using some vanilla extract and some lemon extract. This right here is going to make a difference. This combo, it is fire, okay? Again, all the ingredients I use today will be listed in the description box for your convenience. Click anywhere on the title of the video. The title of the video itself, the text, click on it and it would open up the description box. Now it is time to add in my flour mixture. As you can see, I am going in with about one third of it to mix it and then I would um, go in and add the rest of the flour. This is to avoid over mixing our batter at this point. And also I am gonna be using just about one fourth cup of the juice that I drained from the sliced peaches. This is the brand that I'm going to be using today. It's pretty, pretty awesome. I love it. So yeah, I am using only one fourth cup of the peach juice. You can go ahead and use um, the entire half a cup, but I was saving the other one fourth for um, my glaze later on, which you guys are going to see. So as you can see, I am scraping everything down. And also this pound cake batter is actually very light. It is not as dense as your typical pound cake. And the end result was fantastic. Again, this is my bunt pan that I'm going to be using today. This is a 14 cup bunt pan. Now this cake tends to stick because of all the toppings that we're going to put on the bottom of the cake. So you want to be generous and grease this. If possible, you can reinforce it with extra flour, but I was good with my pan baking spray because it already contains flour. So make sure you're getting into all the nooks and crannies of it. Now this is the peaches that I got from a 15 ounce can that you're seeing on the screen. And please do make sure to drain it. You would also need one fourth cup of butter and half a cup of brown sugar. And of course, I am going to be using some spices today, which I'm going to tell you. So now we're going to start off with the brown sugar. This is a very simple version of this. You don't need to cook anything on the side. I used the brown sugar. I put the brown sugar on the bottom. I saved some for later. And then I'm going to line that up with my peaches. This is from one can, okay? One 15 ounce can. And then once I'm done with that, I have the leftover brown sugar that I'm just going to sprinkle on the top. And then I would go in with my melted butter. This is the one fourth cup of butter, which is four tablespoons of butter. I melted it and just sprinkled everything on it. 
Now I am going in with some cinnamon and also my other favorite, favorite spice, which is nutmeg, okay? You would only need about half a teaspoon of each of these spices. This is so delicious, you guys, trust me. Look at that, it looks so, so good. Now, this is when you wanna add your batter. Can you see how the batter is just pouring nice and even? It is light, it is airy, and so is the cake gonna be. So just pour everything in the pan and try to just level it up as much as possible. No big deal over here. And of course, you know how we're gonna do. We're gonna pop it, drop it, and I'm baking today at 325 degrees for 75 to 80 minutes or until a toothpick insert comes out super clean. In the meantime, let's go ahead and make a glaze, okay? Now, here I have one cup of um, powdered sugar, right? And to that, I am gonna go in with my peach juice that I saved from the same can that we used in the um, the cake. I use one tablespoon of that, and I'm also gonna add one tablespoon of milk if you don't have any milk just go ahead and use the two tablespoons of the peach juice okay it would work perfectly and if it's runny just simply add more powdered sugar now for flavor I am going to be adding just a tiny little bit of lemon extract like you guys can see it was just like a couple of drops and it made all the difference this is my glaze I'm gonna put it on the side until we're ready in the meantime my cake is out of the oven and guys can you see that beauty the crust is everything now this is really hot so you want to let it sit undisturbed and let it cool down in the pan i let mine cool down honestly for over an hour because of where um, the toppings on the bottom of the cake as you can see this was me inverting the cake a whole hour and a half later you want to let this cool down because what would happen if you invert it too early with all the other stuff in the cake the cake might break okay so now my cake has cooled down to room temperature i am gonna go ahead and add some extra slices of peaches now this is another can okay this is a, a, a new can that i'm using right now so i just drain them drain everything off of it Save all the juice if you want to use it for later. And just go ahead and use this more as a garnishing and a topping for the cake. And it's absolutely beautiful and delightful. This is what our cake looks like. Can you see that brown sugar butter goodness just, just settled on the top of the cake? Divine. Now, the icing on the top, I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar this is light brown sugar right now this is optional you don't have to but it was just more for the aesthetics of it okay all right now our glaze i'm just gonna go ahead and just drizzle that glaze and that is absolutely it now i would recommend that you let this cake settle it's a lot going on over here okay it's a lot going on it's brown sugar it's butter it's peaches it's everything over there so let this cake settle let the fat settle let the fruit settle and honestly you are gonna love it like i said the cake in on its own is super soft delicious and not too sweet so the brown sugar butter and the peaches on the top just add a lot of tart and sweetness to the cake i'm gonna cut it so we see what we're working with mm -hmm. you know the videos don't lie like i always say you can see that knife gliding and what sliding through <laughs> this is what our slice look like you know i'm gonna cut you all a big old slice of cake now look at that isn't that perfection it is so perfect so beautiful it has the right amount of sweetness and tartness from the fruit and they just blend absolutely beautifully. Y'all know fall is approaching. Save this video, get back to it later, try it. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Also, do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Share this video with your friends and family. Tell them about Mansa and all we do over here. We keep it simple, honey, but we keep it what? Homemade and super delicious. Also, if you're not following me on Facebook, I actually post full recipes on facebook follow me at mansa queen and also check out the blog at mansaqueen.com thank you guys for watching i'll catch y'all in the next one bye y'all